And please follow along. We're going to be uh, working on the first you do it exercise in chapter five. Uh, and it's going to be doing an if else statement. As uh, typical, I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste. But of course, you can go through the, the laborious process of typing it in. Is that the first one? It's the first one, page 249. 249. All right, so I've got. Uh, JGRASP open here somewhere. I'm going to create a new file and paste in the first little tidbit here, which is the import, setting up the main method. I'm going to do a little bit of indenting. Chapter five, you do it, page 249. All right, so I'm going to go back here to the code. We're going to grab this code here. And I'm going to paste it in, and I'll talk really quick about what it does. Yes, Chris. All right, at this point, uh, I dropped in all these variable statements here. And the one thing I want to point out, notice how all of these colorize, right? Yeah, but why not string? Why not string? Do you want to know the answer to that? Yes. Oh, here. Actually, let's do this as an example. But when I put in character, which holds the same kind of values that a string does, mm -hmm. yeah, right. that will color code. Yep. <clears throat> yes, and the reason it has to be capitalized is because strings, Don't you have to they're a class. Oh. And what a string is, and you know, I don't think we've talked about this. We won't talk about it for a couple more chapters, I think. But what a string is, it's a class comprised of an array of characters. So, so do you have to do the equal new string? Yes. Technically, that would be the correct way to do it. So what Kevin just said is really one of the new, the correct ways to do it is new sting string. That's actually a completely legal expression. That's pretty bizarre, right? So if I put it in like this, it'll work just the same. Because that's really what's happening. String is a class. It's a predefined class. Will like Eclipse color code it? Uh, that's a good question. Eclipse might color code it. But basically what it's telling you is a string is a constructed construct as opposed to being a given. All right. And you might say, well, why? Well, because it gives you a whole lot of control. Because if you can go in and have a character by character control, it gives you a lot of power, basically. All right, so we have a number of different variable uh, constructs here. I've got an int, a character that I added in for demonstration purposes only. Uh, what does it mean when we put final in front of it? Constant. It's a constant. Right. Let's go on to the next snippet. All right. So here it says define the input device and then add the code that prompts the user to enter a one or a two. So I'm going to grab this. are all part of the same statement, so I'm going to move them over a little bit. Uh, and let's just read through this real carefully just to make sure we understand. It says scanner input new, new scanner in, system in. We output what type of donation is this. Enter clothing code for clothing. 
So it goes up here, grabs the one. So enter one for clothing and two for anything else. And then we just grab the input. Okay, are we all good with that so far? And then we go to an if else statement. And this is where the decision's actually made. So let's paste that in. And I want you to take a careful look at the structure of it. One single statement we put in the semicolon to end the individual statement. So if the donation type is the clothing code, we will set volunteer to clothing pricer. So what it's doing is it's reading in Regina. If it's not, then we're going to go to the other pricer, and that's Marco. Okay? Simple? Very simple. All right, let's go ahead and grab this next tidbit, which is going to wrap things up for us. Just doing some output here. And then we need to finish it off. Close the main method. Close the class. Go ahead and compile it. They want us to save. It's going to grab the name that we gave it in the class. All right, compiled just fine, as I would hope. What type of donation is this? Enter one for clothing, two for anything else. Yes, it is intriguing. All right. It's a very simple if statement. And I'm going to cap this video here. So that's the first you do it exercise for Chapter 5.